Hey guys, welcome to Nyaya Cooking. In this video, we are going to prepare something very nutritious according to traditional Chinese medicine. And this is how to prepare shredded pear with snow fungus. This recipe was given to me by my mom and she got this recipe from a friend. Now, it is said that uh, shredded pear with snow fungus has the same nutrients just like bird's nest. Now, for those of you who know bird's nest, you will know that this particular dessert or soup has the nutrients to help uh, recovery from a chronic disease or it also helps to boost the immune system so if you want something cheaper or as we call this the poor man's bird's nest this is the recipe for you and it's very simple to prepare it just takes a bit of patience and a little bit more time so the ingredients that we will need for this recipe would be snow fungus you need to soak them before using honey date and also Korean pear if you do not have Korean pears, which are usually darker in color or slightly more brown, you can always use Chinese pears instead. And they are much more lighter, brighter in color. You may even get them at your local grocer, just like here in Germany. Uh, otherwise, go to your Asian store and you would find Korean pears there. They are so much more juicier to use in this recipe. Now, without further ado, let's go on to shredding the pears. Remove the skin of the pear and then we're just going to half it. to have the other half and we're just going to remove the heart of the pear so this is what I always do and move on to the rest now using a shredder we're going to use this part very slightly bigger and then we're going to carefully shred the pear into a bowl So this is how it's supposed to look like once it's shredded and then you can continue working on the rest. So this is the final result and this is how it looks like. After this, everything will be very simple because we're going to add in snow fungus and this has been already hydrated so I soaked them in water overnight. For tips on how to clean this, how to soak it, you can head on to our website yoyocooking.com that's where we have the full recipe and also all the ingredients listed for you. So add this into the bowl. Once you have added the snow fungus in, give it a toss. We are going to double boil this dessert today and that's why you will need to use a bowl where it can sustain heat. So again, for more instructions, head on to our website. Now once you have mixed this well, we're going to add one honey date and this is going to add a bit of sweetness to the dessert. Now this soup is already sweet by itself because of the Korean pear. But uh, honey date is also said to be very nutritious and that's why we're going to add it in to add some sweetness and also to give us more nutrients. The last step is to just pour some water. Now this is hot water and it's better to start with hot water instead of room temperature because it's going to take some time to boil. Uh, we are in the double boiling this, that means the heat is not going to directly go to the bowl. So that's why hot water would be best. And uh, the other tip that I'm going to share with you is that I'm going to use a cast iron pot. Cast iron pots would spread the heat much more evenly compared to other different types of material. But if you have, say, stainless steel pot, that would also work, no, not an issue. Uh, but as for the water, we will have to have enough water that it covers the ingredients. And as you can see here, this is sufficient. Moving on to the cast iron pot, I'm just going to pour more water. When you pour the water in, do ensure that it covers at least one third of the bowl because this is what we call double boiling. If you have an electronic double boiler, you can also use that. Normally, this dessert or soup would be boiled for about 6 hours or overnight. Um, it's really up to you. Now, for those of you who have never done it, do not get shocked. This is very, very common in Chinese household because double boiling is said to be very gentle during the cooking process and it locks the nutrient directly in the ingredient itself without really spoiling the nutrient. For this video, I'm going to boil this for about 4 hours. Now, for me, 
that's sufficient because I want the pear to be really soft and then it would also still have the nutrients that I would need um, besides that for ladies out there if you want to have a dessert or soup that would make your skin really nice you would want to try this so the water is boiling right now and that's when I'm going to place the bowl in using a plate I'm just going to place it over the bowl just to act as a cover and right now I'm going to lower the heat right to the lowest because we will want the water to simmer and slowly cook this soup and this is really what double boiling does so we do not need to do more but wait for about four hours and then I'll show you the final result and of course the taste test we are back after four hours and I'm going to show you the result so I'm going to lift this up if you notice there's water accumulating on this plate so be very careful to slide it out this is the final result and if you're in the kitchen right now you'll be able to smell the subtle hint of sweetness and let me just show you how it's like here gorgeous right so this is very nutritious guys try it out especially if you're in, in a place where it's cold The smell of it is really really amazing so nice now I also like to let it cool down and then also refrigerate this so that it gets slightly colder uh, when the weather is really hot and when I drink it it's really really soothing so without further ado I have to try this so let's get a bit of pear mm. Delicious. It's so subtle. Very light hint of sweetness. Hmm. This is why I enjoy Asian desserts. You know, drinking this, it gives me a bit of goosebumps because it feels like I feel very warm inside. So it feels like there's something like you feel being hugged when you drink this. So I I can't really explain to you, but those of you if you're far away from home and you drink a soup like this that reminds you of home, reminds you of comfort, you would know exactly what I mean. I have to get another spoonful. Ah, this is delicious. White fungus over here provides you a collagen. So definitely you need to get that too. So the white fungus is slightly chewy, it's really not sweet at all. It has a very light hint of sweetness, but it gives you comfort at the same time. So try this dish guys, uh, try it out and maybe even prepare this for your Chinese New Year dinner dessert. So you know Chinese dishes are slightly more um, oilier sometimes uh, if you are using any fried dishes. Uh, then this dish washes off all the oil, it makes you feel very comfortable. Uh, add a few ice cubes, I think it will go really really fine with it. Your grandparents are going to enjoy it and so you will too. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and remember as always, if you have tried this uh, recipe or any other recipes of Nyonya cooking, head on to the website, share with us your beautiful photos because that will always always make my day. Thank you so much to those of you who have already uploaded your photos and till then, while you're watching, still watching this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to Nyaya Cooking and head on to nyayacooking.com for more dessert recipes like this. Until then, as always, happy cooking!